Yo, this is Deontay the Bronze from a while, the WBC heavyweight champion of the world. And I'd like to give a big shout out to CJ Goodfellow from Sports TV. Bomb Squad, baby. Don't forget to check out our sponsor, The Hellblaze, at thehellblaze.com. 100% all natural products from lotions, soaps, foot soaks, bath bombs, and much, much more. Use the promo code Goodfellow One Boxing. Tell them your boy CJ Goodfellow since you get 18% off. We out. All right, let's talk some boxing. Appreciate everybody for checking in. Uh, the WBC, according to Larry Spookmeyer, and I put that tweet on the screen if I remember, is giving Ryan Garcia a 48-hour extension to decide if he wants to take the chicken noodle Luke Campbell fight. Luke Campbell said he's excited and ready to beat Ryan Garcia, by the way. And also, he did an interview on boxing scene. Let's talk about it. Hit that subscribe button, bell icon button, share the video. And um, basically, let's talk about what he said. He said he'd be back, back, he'd be back August, September. Um, it was told to me before this whole Luke Campbell thing was ordered that he would prefer, prefer excuse me, a tune-up fight. He wanted to fight Gesta. Gesta's fighting the other prospect they wanted Ryan to fight, Tanjana. I don't know his name, Juana. Uh, or he wanted to fight Abner Maraz. I don't think they wanted, you know, Abner Maraz to fight for Golden Boy after the comments that he made. And Oscar had him removed from a Canelo way in. I forget what Canelo fight that was over some comments Maraz made. But, you know, Oscar said the opponent they wanted Ryan to fight was Jorge Linares. I didn't see my video yesterday. They said Ryan Garcia asked for five hundred. He asked for two million to fight Jorge Linares, and you know that wasn't that wasn't something that Golden Boy can afford. So he said he'd be back August September, and they got some big things planned for December. He can't talk about if it gets made in December. I think he talked about fighting Tank. His father's brought it up before. Not sure where Tank is at physically. He was in the hospital. He's supposed to fight Leo Santa Cruz. I heard that was supposed to be pushed back behind Danny and Spence. So if that's going to be pushed back behind Danny and Spence, Spence can't spar until September. He got the third post. They got to get put in his mouth. So I'm looking at that might not happen. Either Ryan, you know, and Tank ain't going to happen or Tank and Leo Santa Cruz not going to happen. And I think some people behind the scenes or some of the fighters are not believing Tank is going to be able to make 130 regardless, especially after the pandemic. But I heard he was working out with Odell uh, Beckham. But some, you know, you got Shakir calling him out and Gary Russell, you know, still calling Leo out. So don't really know what's going to happen with Leo and, and Tank. But he's insinuating that he will be fighting Tank in December. That's something they want to do. So if he's going to be fighting Tank in December, um, what's the point of fighting for the interim title versus Luke Campbell is the question. You know, because the interim title means you get a shot at Devin Haney. Now it depends on when Devin Haney come back as well, too. Um, if they have a handy tune up in September, November, December, or whatever it is, then Ryan can come back in December and then fight Devin Haney after that. But is Ryan going to really fight Luke Campbell, Tank Davis, and Devin Haney? And is he going to win any of those fights to get to the next fight is, 100, is, the, is the question. He said he's frustrated, just like Devin Haney's been saying. He's frustrated seeing top-ranked ESPN come on with fights and they not fighting yet, but... Um, you know, everybody got to come back at their own time and their own speed because top rank and UFC is laying out the blueprint on how to get through this pandemic and continue to put fights on. So PBC had their own bubble. The zone is going to have their own bubble. But top rank and UFC, ESPN is leading the way. That's what you got to understand, you know, and the fights on ESPN ain't really that good right now. I mean, I watched last night. I'm, I'm thinking about doing a reaction video. Not sure if I will. But, you know, for Ryan, you know, he said that his fight is in August, September, and December. If possible, it's going to be bigger than the top-ranked fights on ESPN, and everybody will be tuning in to watch him fight. So, you know, he is in, but he is yet to say if he's going to accept the Luke Campbell fight. It was told to me that Oscar wanted to make the fight happen. He asked the WBC to mandate it. Now, did Oscar ask the WBC to mandate it to expose Ryan Garcia, knowing that Ryan wouldn't take the fight? Um, it's a debate going on. Is Luke Campbell more dangerous than Jorge Linares at this point? And people showing clips of Linares knocking down Luke Campbell, but it was a split decision fight. But they had two different points of their career. Linares has been stopped two times, uh, two times since then. Luke Campbell had a tough fight versus Lomachenko. He didn't get dropped, but Linares got stopped. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I don't think he got dropped by, by Lomachenko. Maybe he did, but he didn't get stopped. So Linares has been stopped by Lomachenko. And he's been stopped by uh, Pablo Cesar Cano. So they're not the same fighters they were when they fought each other. And also, 
Luke Campbell took some punishment, you know, versus Lomachenko, versus Lomachenko coming off a loss. So to me, I think they both, you know, equally as dangerous. Um, but then again, styles make fights. I think the hand speed of uh, Lenares complicates some things, but I also think um, the size and the power of Luke Campbell could complicate some things as well. So I would probably say Lenares, depending on physically where he at, is a more dangerous fighter with his hand speed. But, you know, the question is, will Ryan Garcia take the fight? You know, and I think most people don't think not. With the WBC giving him a, what, a 48-hour extension because of the holiday to decide if he wants to fight, he came out and said, I can't wait to fight the softball. I'm good versus softballs, but why haven't you accepted the fight? I don't think they're asking him to come to terms. He's formally not accepted the fight. And I do think Oscar De La Hoya, if he did ask the WBC to order this fight, I think he asked the WBC to order this fight to make Ryan Garcia look bad. And people say, what you mean? To show that Ryan Garcia is ducking. That he ducked Lenar ass to ask for $2 million. He don't want to fight Luke Campbell. See, this ain't just an in-house Golden Boy fight. This is a matchroom and Golden Boy fight. And, you know, at the end of the day, if he don't fight this guy, it make Luke look, look uh, excuse me, make Ryan look that much worse. But we already, anybody that know boxing that's, that's objective, we know Ryan is a gimmick. We know he's not the real deal yet. And we know he been a ducker. He talk all that big boy shit. And him and Devin Haney don't want to fight nobody. So, and I think Eddie Hearn knows that Ryan Garcia is not going to take the fight. And Devin Haney is going to end up fighting Luke Campbell regardless. So, that's the fight they truly want to make. So, you know, you know, with them saying 48 hours, like, dude, is he even take the fight or not? With him saying he come back in August or September, is he going to be versus Luke Campbell? That's the question. If him and Luke fight, you're probably thinking, what? Yeah, August, they can make it in August, September. So, I'm not sure he's going to take the fight. I think Oscar... Is trying to make Ryan look bad. And that's that's my honest opinion. I think he knows that Ryan's not going to make the fight. Um, it's either you set the fight or not. You know, they announced it the other day. I mean, I mean, you got, what, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. You know, what is you sitting down talking to Golden Boy about? They got to enter negotiations. Once you accept the fight, they have to enter negotiations with Eddie Hearn and Matchroom and Luke Campbell. So once they enter the negotiations with Eddie Hearn, Matchroom, and Luke Campbell, then you know something. So people saying, I can't wait to see the fight. Even Andre Ward said on last night tele, uh, on, on last night telecast on the uh, the, the, the Bazier and Pedraza telecast, he even said like, uh, if I hope the fights get made, I hope they can make the fight. The fight not gonna get made. Anybody know no boxing, no Ryan Garcia don't want that fight. If he did, he'd have came out, told the WBC, he accept the order, they get to negotiations, and by the middle of next week or next week. We should be hearing some things about or a deal should be finalized or a deal is close or they're having some issues. Even if he accept the fight and tell the WBC to fight and it go to purse bid and the split is whatever it is for the WBC purse bid, he going to pull out the fight. We all know Ryan Garcia don't want that smoke. We know it. If you if you wanted two million to fight Lenares and him and Luke Campbell basically on the same level, how much you want for Luke? Because if it go to purse bid, it just go to the highest bidder and I'm not sure how the split goes between two contenders. You know what I'm saying? If they talk about negotiations, that's not a $2 million fight. Even in the UK, it's not a $2 million fight without fans or with fans. You know? So, like I said before, man, they gave him 48 hours to, to extension to accept the fight. He still ain't accepted the fight. Not to my knowledge right now. He didn't accept it last night. Luke Campbell said he, he'd take the fight. So, um, that's Mason crying, man. He got in trouble. But, um, if y'all hear that. But, uh, but yeah, you know, let me know if y'all think he'll take the fight or not. If not, I know he wanted to tune up a fight before a fight Lenares. Um, but to ask for $2 million to fight Lenares during the pandemic, like, do you understand it's champions that's not getting $2 million to fight? It's world champions. I'm not just talking about 118, 122, 126, just 130, 135. It's the guys that fight at 140, 47, 54, 60, 68, 75. You know what I'm saying? There's world champions not getting two million dollars to fight, and you want two million dollars to fight Jorge Linares for a non-title fight? Like, it's crazy, bro. You know, at the end of the day, you know, I don't know what Oscar gonna do. You know, at the end of the day, they got Virgil Ortiz to replace him. It's at a point that Oscar's just gonna make him look bad. I already know what Oscar gonna do. Oscar set this uh, this fight up between him and Luke and asked the WC order to to make to to open people's eyes to see. Ryan Garcia being difficult, he don't want to fight nobody. So, um, we know that. We know what it is. 
So worst case scenario, maybe they can get the tank fight done and give him the tank. And if he succeed versus tank, then they got a star. If he lose, then it's back to being the model underwear and punching, you know, YouTubers in the stomach and doing all that gimmicky shit, man. But I don't think Ryan can accept the fight. But, hey, let me know what you guys think. Don't forget we on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. You can reach out if you got business questions, inquiry, response, shit, video requests. Uh, don't forget we got a Facebook group. Each social media link in the description. If you got a YouTube question, business question, inquiry, response, shit, video, whatever it is, Twitter's the fastest way there, IG and Facebook. Um, other than that, the Facebook group there. If you want to make a donation, if you haven't, subscribe. Best donation you can make. Comment, thumbs up. And share the video if you haven't made a donation uh, of the those type, but uh, cash at PayPal description. One time for the one time we gone. Let me know what you think in the comment section.